Hey, yo. Oh, what a treasure trove. What a treasure trove, dude. A third scandal has hit Mark Robinson. I'm saying it. Okay. Do we have a video of the Mark Robinson coverage? Uh, I don't want to go directly to the article. I'm sure CNN has already covered it. Has it been, has it hit the interwebs yet? So here's the situation. He's been here's the situation, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Robinson, okay? Marcus Jebediah Robinson is Donald Trump's handpicked North Carolina gubernatorial candidate. A bombshell has just... Now, if you know anything about Mark, if you know anything about Marky Mark, okay? Former construction worker Marky Mark used to work, I believe, no, actually former factory guy. Marky Mark likes posting, okay? He likes posting and he likes gooning. He is a massive gooner, okay? A real freak, a real freak. Now, Marcus Jebediah Robinson had a problem. He liked gooning a little too much. And inevitably, all of that gooning got him caught. Turns out, turns out after uh, getting notoriety uh, on a post that went viral on Facebook because he was chirping about guns, Immediately, the Republican Party was like, you're our guy. We want you to be our guy. We want you to run for politics, okay? But in that process, people found out a lot of stuff about Marky Mark because it turns out he's a born-again Christian, immediate red flag, okay, with a massive porn addiction, okay, with a massive porn addiction, Politico found email addresses belonging to Mark Robinson on Ashley Madison leaks. But even before that, a porn shop, a porn shop uh, in his hometown actually found that Marky Mark was a frequenter of said porn shop. Okay, I covered the story briefly, but it doesn't end there. It does not end there. My man, my man turns out did a lot more than just simple gooning, okay? It wasn't just simple goonage. There was a lot more going on there than just cranking, a, uh, cranking, just stroking your shit and putting lotion on your shit. I'm stroking my, I'm stroking my shit real hard right now. Let's take a look at the CNN coverage on it. Hold on, my door is knocking. I got a delivery. Exclusive in our politics lead, CNN's K file has uncovered shocking new details about the republican nominee for governor of north carolina he is the state's current lieutenant governor he is a man who says a lot of wild and offensive things his name is mark robinson a cnn investigation finds that robinson posted on a porn site starting in 2008 he described himself on the porn site as a quote black nazi and he wrote posts expressing support for reinstating slavery and that's just the stuff we can tell you on television cnn's andrew kaczynski did the digging broke the story and he spoke with lieutenant governor robinson today i want to warn viewers that this report disturbs and includes some disturbing and and rather graphic comments uh andrew first tell us what you discovered here Jake, CNN found a series of highly disturbing posts made on the message board of a pornographic website more than a decade ago, and we traced them directly to Mark Robinson. We did interview Robinson today, and he categorically denies making these posts. And I'll get to that in just a moment here, but first, I want to walk people through just some of them. Take a look right here at this one in one post. No! Okay, 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 okay. All jokes aside. I wanted to fucking scale this back and start off with Marky Mark Robinson's original claim to fame. Okay. Mark Robinson comes into the, uh, Mark Robinson becomes a notable figure in American politics because he is, uh, doing a rant about guns. Okay. And how Americans need to have their guns. Uh, I believe he all, he then becomes the Lieutenant governor. Mark Keith Robinson is an American politician currently serving as the 35th Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina since 2021. Okay. Now here's the issue. Here's the issue. Marky Mark, Marky Mark Robinson has already famously quoted Adolf Hitler on his Facebook. Okay. He already had done that. Now this wouldn't be, 
that big of an issue. I mean, he's a black man at the end of the day, right? You're like, I mean, don't look at what's on screen, okay? Just before we get to that, he, there is like a level of plausible deniability that you can apply in this circumstance. And you can be like, oh, that's the old me. Like, I, I don't believe that. Except, no, he literally defended it in 2021. He was like, uh, I guess history books are also pro Hitler because they quote Hitler. He doubled down. He doubled down. Now, this is before the new information that just came out that obviously reconfirmed what everyone's suspicions were that this was a man who was basically black Hitler. Okay. I need you to understand. I need you to understand that Marky Mark Robinson started his political journey by reading a book by Rush Limbaugh, after which he found out that he was a conservative and always had been. On April 3rd, 2018, Robinson attended a meeting of the Greensboro City Council, where they debated whether or not to cancel a gun show in the wake of the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting. Robinson spoke in favor of gun rights, and his video, uh, the video of the speech went viral after it was shared on Facebook by Mark Walker. Afterwards, Robinson dropped out of the University of uh, North Carolina at Greensboro and left his job in furniture manufacturing to focus on public speaking engagements. He was, inspired, uh, he was invited to speak at the National Rifle Association of America's annual convention that year. Okay. And in the 2020 campaign, when he was running, as the uh, lieutenant governor of North Carolina, okay, people were like, hey, we look through your old posts, and on Facebook, you, like, openly s quoted Adolf Hitler, right? Like, what the f*** is that about? That's weird. Why did you do that? To which he responded with at the time, to which he responded with at the time, oh, history books also quote Adolf Hitler. What am I? Uh, I mean, what am I, a history book? No, I'm Mark Robinson. And also, that's a weird way to double down on why you quoted Adolf Hitler. He, he posted this in 2014 on Facebook. He said, history, who said it? Number one, pride in one's own race, and that does not imply contempt for other races, is also a normal and healthy sentiment. I have never regarded the Chinese or the Japanese as being inferior to ourselves. They have the right to be proud of their past, just as we have a right to be proud of the civilization to which we belong. The post, which he never deleted, by the way, was publicly available. Then, at a Moms for Liberty summit in July, Robinson fervently defended his choice to quote the genocidal leader of the Nazi party, implying that doing so without context is not akin to endorsing his words or actions. Whether you're talking about Adolf Hitler, whether you're talking about Chairman Mao or Stalin, whether you're talking about Pol Pot or Castro in Cuba, or a dozen other despots all around the globe, it's time for us to get back and start reading some of those quotes. It's time for us to start teaching, teaching our children about the dirty, despicable, awful things that those communist and socialist despots did in our history. Except, he was quoting Adolf Hitler. He wasn't quoting those guys, and he was agreeing with it. So, you know, it is what it is. In other posts, Robinson minimized the horrors of the Holocaust claimed a satanic Marxist had made the movie Black Panther to pull shekels out of black audiences, likened women getting abortions to murderers and derided gay people as filth and maggots. Not with the F, but with the M, which is very interesting because you're right there. Why didn't you just say the other thing? Like, you're right there. This is all the stuff that he... This is all the stuff that was readily available before, by the way. This is part of the reason why... This is part of the reason why um, he was already very unpopular in the North Carolina governor race, just so you understand. So the new shit that has come out on Mark Robinson is just basically, you know, repeating the old shit. Yeah. He also expressed archaic views about women's role in society, telling a Charlotte area church in 2022 that Christians are called to be led by men. God sent women out when they had to do their thing, but when it was time to face down Goliath, he sent David, not Davida, David, Robinson said at the time. And yet Robinson's gubernatorial win would turn the state's executive branch, its last Democratic holdout red, effectively locking Democrats out of a state they had once predicted would be their stronghold in the South. Robinson's likely opponent come November will be attorney Josh Stein, the Democratic favorite. And that is his opponent. Josh Stein is also cooking him. Uh, in the polls, even before this new announcement. 
Here it is, by the way. Some folks need killing. It's time for somebody to say it. You know, it was a time when we used to meet evil on the battlefield, and guess what we did to it? We killed it. We didn't quibble about it. We didn't argue about it. We didn't fight about it. We killed it. Some liberal somewhere is going to say that sounds awful. Too bad. Get mad at me if you want to. Some folks need killing. It's time for somebody to say it. It's not a matter of vengeance. It's not a matter of being mean or spiteful. It's a matter of necessity. It's time to call out uh, those guys in green and go have them handled. Who are the guys in the green that he's talking about? So... I'm not going to make fun of him and obviously point to obviously point to the key and peel sketch that immediately comes to mind here. That seemingly is a direct carbon copy of what Mark Robinson's get up looks like down to the holster for his phone on his belt. Okay. But God damn, God damn. Okay. I'm pissed. Royally pissed. Okay, anyway, his fit is ridiculous. Now, another thing that was known beforehand was that he was a gooner, okay? Mark Robinson, the Republican candidate for governor of North Carolina. This came out on September 3rd by the Intelligencer, uh, uh, New York Magazine. Mark Robinson really used to love porn, according to the guys at the porn store. This was a story that came out at the beginning of this month. Now... From 1990s all the way into the early 2000s, Mark Robinson frequented a porn store in North Carolina, okay? A 24-hour porn video shop in Greensboro who spoke with the North Carolina investigative website, The Assembly. He says Robinson was coming in to watch videos in a private booth as many as five nights a week. The man who was beautifully named Lewis Money said that at one of the stores he worked that gents patrons could buy videos for $50 each or preview them in private booths for $8 every night that I worked, which would have been five nights a week. I saw Mark Lewis money said he was spending a good amount of money. Robinson previewed at least two tapes a night per money. He was a certified gooner. Okay. He would go to the porn store to crank one out literally twice a night Five times a week, okay? This is exactly the type of dude that is, like, gonna be like, oh, man, porn addiction is a real problem. It's like, yeah, bitch, for you, okay? Most people don't have the stamina, the endurance, the intensity, or the interest to goon that much. Yeah, for you, it is a problem. It obviously is altering your relationships. It's like causing you... Oh my God, here he is. Oh my God, you found it. Oh my God. It was cool running into an old friend today. We disagree on politics. However, you have always been cool with me. Oh my God. Oh my God. This has, how did you find this? This has one like. How did you find this? Are you in the chat? Is Lewis here? That's crazy. That's his dealer, dude. Yeah. Should we be impressed? Yes. God damn. Dude is in porn debt. <laughs> oh, this is where the photo comes from, from the assembly. I will share this every chance I get because Mark Robinson still hasn't paid my buddy Lewis for his porn purchases. And anyone who's that financially irresponsible has no business being our governor. Oh my God. He was not only a gooner. But he refused to pay his goon debt? How do you go into debt cranking, dude? How? The lieutenant governor owes me money by the trailer park orchestra? Hey, lieutenant governor, I'm so proud of you. Okay, I'm putting North Carolina so much higher than Long Island. It is now officially one of the greatest states in this beautiful country, okay? Down to the nipple pierced guy. I 
I love this state. North Carolina, you are beautiful. Okay. North Carolina gave us in this past week, Ryan Ruth and these guys. Okay. I apologize. I was unfamiliar with your game until now. Okay. North Carolina, best Carolina. Oh my Lord. Okay. This is, this is incredible. Like the dude wearing the racially insensitive uh, black guy mask is also seemingly a black guy, unless he did a, a, a Justin Trudeau style, uh, you know, blackface full body cover up type shit. That this is a song by, uh, I guess, the Trailer Park Orchestra. And the person who's singing is Lewis Money, an owner of a porn store that the current lieutenant governor of North Carolina, the state, frequented quite a bit. And he frequented it so much that he apparently owed the guy, Lewis Money, money. He owed him, he, he had porn debt. Now, I would need you to understand something. This, this article came out, this article came out before the K-File stuff. So now... That catches us up with the latest and greatest from Mark Robinson. Okay. Politico came out with its own opposition dump, finding that uh, Mark Robinson, uh, his email address was found on Ashley Madison. Ashley Madison is the famous cheating website that had a massive and very consequential leak. Okay. The discovery of Robinson's email on Ashley Madison came as fellow Republicans were already cring uh, cringing over CNN's report on covering offensive posts he purposely made on a porn site under the same email. Robinson denied making the post. So let's look at these posts now, okay? Let's get back to the start of this uh, start of this show, start of the, the, the Mark Robinson show, and let's cover it from the top. Now that you are, like, geared up, now that you're primed with the knowledge now that you are primed with the knowledge of what Mark Robinson is from the Adolf Hitler support to being a massive gooner, let's take a look at what K-File found in his investigative reporting. We start with a CNN exclusive in our politics lead. CNN's K-File has uncovered shocking new details about the Republican nominee for governor of North Carolina. He is the state's current lieutenant governor. He is a man who says a lot of wild and offensive things. His name is Mark Robinson. A CNN investigation finds that Robinson posted on a porn site starting in 2008. He described himself on the porn site as a, quote, black Nazi. And he wrote posts expressing support for reinstating slavery. And that's just the stuff we can tell you on television. CNN's Andrew Kaczynski did the digging, broke the story, and he spoke with Lieutenant Governor Robinson today. I want to warn viewers that this report disturbs and includes some disturbing and, and rather graphic comments. Uh, Andrew. Now, you might ask yourself, you might find yourself asking the very serious question here. Absolutely, who the f would write comments on a porn website? Sometimes, when I'm in the midst... When I'm in the throes of cranking it, okay, I often have that, I often ask that same question. I'm like, who the f is writing comments? And it's always usually like bots, right? It's usually just bots. Turns out, l current Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina is the answer to that question, okay? If you are, if you're not only gripping, but you're also posting comments on a forum dedicated to pornography, you have gone above and beyond okay you are a real gooner i tip my hat to you sir first tell us what you discovered here jake cnn found a series of highly disturbing posts made on the message board of a pornographic website more than a decade ago and we traced them directly to mark robinson we did interview robinson today and he categorically denies making these posts and i'll get to that in just a moment here but first I want to walk people through just some of them. Take a look right here at this one. In one post, Robinson called himself a, quote, black Nazi. And when describing then-President Barack Obama, writing, quote, I'd take Hitler 
over any of the shit that's in Washington right now. It even goes beyond that. Another disturbing post, Robinson defended slavery, writing, quote, slavery is not that bad, and I wish they would bring slavery back. I would Okay, there's definitely there's definitely something wrong with like I guess this is like an even more severe uh, version of like what Republicans always fantasize about in terms of like what their role would look like in a libertarian dystopia. It's like dog, you ha you do Uber Eats right now. What makes you think you would not be a serf under a ANCAP style governance? Like why do you think things would change for you? And the same question could be presented to Mark, which is like, dude, you're black. Why do you think you would not immediately be categorically enslaved under a white supremacist governance? Like, what are you saying? This makes no sense. But many people, <laughs> nah, they said I'm good. But they didn't. That's the other side of it. They don't. They never do. <laughs> like, I often talk about whiteness as a socio-political construct, right? And it, it is, especially in the United States of America, it means like proximity to uh, power and whiteness is defined by what it's not. And what it's not is black, okay? The one group of people that will never be under the white umbrella is black people. It's literally designed to do that outcome, to have that outcome. It's the permanent outgroup. So if you're a black man... Being like, oh man, slavery's not that bad. Can't wait to buy me some slaves. Is like, no, dude, that wouldn't work that way. It would not work that way at all. <laughs> Why do you think it would work that way? Certainly by a few. All of these comments and many others that you can read on saying it. This was on a black porn site? Oh my. Oh my God. And CNN.com were made on the message board of a porn website called Nude Africa. And Jake... In addition to those posts, he also expressed views on nude Africa that sharply contradict his current policies as a socially conservative candidate for governor. For example, he has been vocally anti-transgender, but look at what Robinson wrote on the porn message board more than a decade ago, writing that he, quote, liked watching transgender porn, adding, quote, that's effing hot, and called himself a, quote, perv. He's a chaser! Bro. Classic. Classic. Classic, dude. Oh my god. Also, k what are you saying? That doesn't mean he's pro- You know, that doesn't mean he's pro-trans, dude. That just means he's a chaser. A lot of- A lot of transphobes are. Alex Jones comes to mind. In another thread that was discussing the story of a woman who said she was raped by her taxi driver while drunk, Robinson wrote, quote, and the moral of this story, don't F a drunk white bitch. So he wrote all of this stuff uh, years ago before he got into politics. How are you sure that it's him? Yeah, so CNN, Jake, we found that Robinson consistently used that same username, Mini Soldier, that he used on Nude Africa in all of his social media. You can see it here. He used it on Pinterest, Black Planet, uh, YouTube. He even uh, used it as his Twitter handle. Uh, his full name was also listed on Nude Africa. And an email we found he used on Nude Africa, he used uh, on several other websites. Now, the biographical data from multiple websites using the name Mini Soldier matches Robinson exactly the exact date of birth, his hometown, the fact that his mother worked at an HBCU, that his favorite episode of The Twilight Zone is number 22. And of course, this was all before he was a, a, a public figure, uh, which would factor into the, the identification that this all happened back then. Oh my God, this is like when gray names come into chat and say some unhinged shit and then MHUD finds out like, their current geographical location in like under 30 seconds. And then we look at their tweets and they're like defending pedophilia. It's like these people have no OPSEC, dude. They have no OPSEC whatsoever. They just straight up are out there. <laughs> they're just out there living their lives, saying some insane unhinged shit and <laughs> with not a care, with not a care about who sees it then when he was just a common citizen. So what did Lieutenant Governor Robinson have to say about all this today when you talked to him? 
So Robinson calls the story trash. He says it's not him. We asked the campaign for comment. We gave them 48 hours to respond. That deadline was this morning, and that's when Lieutenant Governor Robinson agreed to do a brief interview uh, with us about that. Here is just a little bit of that interview. Lieutenant Governor Robinson, thank you so much uh, for being willing to talk to us. Uh, I think we'll just jump right into it. Uh, do you deny that this account is you? Well, first off, let me say thank you so much for allowing me to come here and clear the air. We absolutely do. do. This is not us. These are not our words. And this is not anything that is characteristic of me, nor has it ever, ha has it ever been. Uh, the people here of North Carolina know I have been completely transparent about uh, my history, all the warts. And we, we put them all out. We let folks know about it. Uh, but the folks here also know my character. They know uh, who I am. They know my voice, so to speak. This is not my voice. This is not things that we would ever say. The date and time was 3 p.m. on Thanksgiving. The man was posting while fist deep in a turkey. I don't think he was fist deep in a turkey, dog. They or even think. And so absolutely we do. How do you explain all of the matching details on this profile? The profile on Nude Africa lists your full name as Mark Robinson, the email Listed on an uh, account is an email that you used, used, you have used elsewhere on the internet, including with your photo. You have used that name, Mini Soldier, on multiple social media. I think the email is literally like his his name and his birthday too, which is what makes it even funnier. Because like all the way back in 2010, when he was working the assembly line of a furniture store, ain't nobody is gonna like m use his identity like that. Okay, if you want to rule out. If you want to rule out the possibilities like of some long, convoluted, complicated operation to like besmirch the reputation of besmirch the reputation of Mark Robinson, like it doesn't make any sense given the time frame when he was just like a random ass, you know, a random ass guy. The accounts including Twitter, Pinterest, Black Planet, and YouTube. How can you deny with all of these matching details that this is you? Look, I'm not going to get into the minutia of how somebody manufactured this, uh, these salacious tabloid lies, but I can tell you this, there's been over $1 million spent on me through AI by a billionaire son who's bound and determined to destroy me. The things that people can do with the internet now is incredible, but what I can tell you is this, again, these are not my words, this is simply tabloid trash being used. The funniest part about it is that, like... Even if he runs with this line, right? Even if he runs with this obvious lie, he said his AI is such a good boomer way to deflect. Um, it just also corresponds to like shit that he has done publicly, right? Like he was a gooner. He was a gooner and he's up there posted with like a dude who was running the goon store being like, yo, that's my homie. I mean, he wasn't, he, I, I say he was a gooner. Okay, scratch that. I apologize. Um, chalk that up to the misinformation column. He is a gooner. Ain't nobody is dropping all the gooning. If they're, if they're dick deep in, in nude Africa forums, talking about how they love trans porn and the, how pervy they are or whatever in 2010, and then they lose, they, they go into porn debt. I don't think, I don't think this man has stopped gooning. Used as a distraction from the substantive issues that the people of this state are facing. We have addressed it. We have said it's not true. And we wish we could move on and get busy with the uh, business of the people of the state. Okay, well, these posts, they do take place over a five-year period. He was posting up in ultimatesoldier.net? Hey, yo! Oh, what a treasure trove. What a treasure trove, dude. A third scandal has hit Mark Robinson. Now that we know Mark Robinson used his name, uh, mini soldier everywhere, including porno forums, people like girl boss woman on Twitter can dig up his other weird hobbies, like taking photos of his Nazi soldier dolls. Oh, these are the, wait, these are dolls. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's a real freak. Some very nice looking Germans here on mini here. Mini soldier, some great poses on them too. Another excellent looking group of Germans. I can't imagine any one sixth World War II collector wouldn't want to own. Special thanks for sending them in and sharing them with us. Good luck. That's why his name is Mini Soldier, because he collects like action figures. Oh my God, this guy is so crazy, dude. 
He's a Nazi Funko Pop enjoyer. Oh my lord. From 2008 to 2013. You you mentioned AI. Are you saying that somebody was somehow manufacturing biographical details to exactly match you using your username? Look, I have no idea how this was done. I have absolutely no how, idea how it was done. And I have five weeks left in this campaign uh, to focus on the substantive issues that North Carolinians face. I do not have time. Dude, why is the GOP like this? I guess they've always been like this, but they had like maybe better OPSEC or the internet wasn't like this. It's just that like, I think like this is happening a lot more frequently in the post-Trump era for the GOP, like the Herschel Walker stuff, right? Like that was a insanely silly person to run. Like it made no sense. It, even Dr. Oz made no goddamn sense to run. And and now you have like Carrie Lake. Uh, you have that uh, exploded troop guy in Nevada. Like you have all these dudes that are like serial losers that have no, that have no experience, that have no experience whatsoever. George Santos is another one. Madison Cawthorn, Blake Masters. It's very weird how much, what, not to defend him, but you weaves have no room to talk about collecting toys. Dude, I think there's a difference <laughs> between collecting toys and collecting Nazi soldiers with like full kitted out Nazi gear. What the f Now, his Amazon reviews on gyno shirts? Shut the f up. Oh my God. Ain't no way, dude. Oh my God. He loves like little helicopters. He, he did not like the micro mark uncouple light, which I susp Oh my God. It's for his like little, <gasps> it's for locomotives, dude. He, he said, this thing does not work for N scale couplers. The tip is far too long, far too big. Do not be fooled by the claim that it does work for all scales. The flashlight is great, but it will not uncouple N scale cars. He did product reviews on Amazon, bro. And that was in 2021. Like he hadn't stopped. He has not stopped using the same damn account. He loves the, the helicopter toys. Customer review by mini soldier. This heli is without a doubt Seamus's best flying heli of their military miniature series. Quiet, fast, and super stable. It is head and shoulders above the Apache or Chinook, which are also great. The price is great. In fact, the price is so low, I'm thinking of buying a whole squadron of them. Buy this one. You will love it. Note, if you buy this heli, make sure you order the SEMA S102G Marines. There's another version of this heli that is not nearly as good as this one. Again, make sure you order the SEMA 102G Marines. God forbid a man have hobbies. Y'all haters shaking my head. I mean, the best one, in my opinion is not like the mini helis, which he obviously loves. Uh, he keeps talking about helicopters. He keeps putting reviews on that. But the best one is this. Cockles Gynecomastia Compression Shirt. Great body slimmer. Size XXL. Color V-neck black. Reviewed in the United States on July 7th, 2024. This is a five-star review for a gyno shirt to make your titties look better. Out of the package, it looks doubtful it will fit, but it fits perfectly and it's super easy to put on and take off. Great product. I'm currently ordering more. Ten people found this helpful. That is the last review that he, is, uh, he has written on the, his Amazon page. That was in July. What an incredible sequence of events what a treasure trove what a wonderful story oh my god i love this man holy shit i i always i mean i've made fun of him before uh especially on the last episode of fear and where i uh you know i was i was making fun of his like you know insane stuff including his like gooning his porn addiction i never would have thought that it would get to this point though 
Oh, let's continue. Time for tabloid trash. There have been rumors uh, that some of your campaign staff have, have quit. Can you tell us if that's true or not? Uh, absolutely not, and we are not getting out of this race. There are people who are counting on us to win this race because, again, we don't want a governor who's going to be a person that can't be counted on to tell. Man, I love this country. I love this country, man. I mean, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Oh, God, it's such a beautiful nation. These are, this is, this is it. This is where American politics makes the least sense, but also somehow makes the fucking most sense. You know what I mean? It's so good. <laughs> Look at the Chiron. North Carolina GOP nominee for governor made dozens of disturbing comments on porn forum. Tell the truth. And I can assure you, my opponent it has been taken to court uh, for not telling the truth in campaigns. And he's been completely dishonest in his ads against me. This camp is so desperate to destroy us. It's just like Clarence Thomas said years ago. This is a high-tech lynching. And, you know, back long years ago, they used to use rope. Now they're using cable. He loved that line. Angels, new to Africa message board. Anything goes 2010-04. My wife's sister. I'm currently having an affair with my wife's sister, and I just need a place to say out loud that she has the best smelling, best tasting pussy and asshole in the universe. Nude Africa message board, anything goes, 2011. Have me another hot morning with the wife's sister. She brought along her laptop this time, and we watched some vids here on Nude Africa. The one that really got us hot was called Wet Anal. That vid got her pussy soaking wet, and y'all know what I did, right? That ass was wet, slick, and good, and pissy, and I licked and sucked that pussy and asshole till my face was covered in her funky juices. Then she sucked my dick. I can't read the rest of this. I, I should have stopped from the... Man... Till it was good and hard, then lubed it down with wet. Then she laid back while I greased that asshole with her pussy juice and wet. Watching my big dick slide in and out of that asshole takes my breath away. He's very wordy. My man is an auteur, dude. He is a he <laughs> He is a poet, okay? He's a poet. Do it or your journalistic integrity is gone. Yeah, I'm having a John F. Kennedy moment. I'm having a John Kennedy moment. Listen, listen, if I got to do this, I got to do it right. You know? Her pussy juice like perfume. <laughs> Whenever I read the next sentence, I'm like, it can't get worse. And then it always does.
meaning she will smear it behind her ears, on her neck, and on her wrist. So every time I get near her, I smell her delightful scent. What do you, what does this mean? It's, he's saying like, he's saying that like, he loves it when his, his girlfriend smells like piss. Okay. Let's ask the real question. Okay. Let's ask the real question. Do you think this is real? As in like, obviously he wrote this, but do you think he really did this shit? Or is he, is he just flexing on a porn forum? Okay. Because I don't think he his wife's sister. I think he's just fantasizing about his wife's sister and is simply, you know, like he wrote it, but I think it's fan fiction. I heard some younger chicks like 20 to 25 are doing this. This is a name for it. It's real, bro. <laughs> Thanks, guy. I didn't mean, is it, do people have piss kinks? <laughs> what the f are you talking about? Yes, of course people have piss kinks. You have to read this next. Latin prayers of the rosary. <laughs> Okay, dude, listen. Listen. Credo in Deum Patrem, Omnipotentem, Creatorem Caeli et Tari, et in Lesum Christum Filium Eis Unicum, <laughs> oh my god it's confirmed fan fiction his wife is an only child has no siblings per her biography she runs some family foundation I called it dude i called it i told you i told you it was a fantasy I called it dude i know my hogs man i know my i know my hogs is that better or worse I guess it's a little bit better that he didn't like cheat on his wife. He's just a smut girly. A lot of you will shamelessly shit on this man and then write a Wattpad fanfic or read one. Okay. About your favorite, I don't know, anime characters or some shit. I love this so much. Every part of this story is just increasingly more unhinged. And Jake Robinson reiterating with a public video uh, after that interview that he is staying in the race. Andrew Kaczynski, uh, remarkable uh, reporting, and thank you so much. I want to bring in CNN. So, I mean, yeah, this shit's got to be more embarrassing to his wife than getting cheated on, 100%. Way, this is way worse. From Rufio, here are some of the posts he made uh, that they can't show on the news. This post is Mark Robinson probably has psychiatric issues. For writing his mini soldier on nude Africa, Robinson said he did not care about celebrity a celebrity having an abortion. I don't care. I just want to see the sex tape. In another thread, commenters considered whether to believe the story of a woman who says she was raped by her taxi driver while intoxicated. In response, Robinson wrote, and the moral of the story, don't f a white bitch. Robinson, who become uh who would become North Carolina's first black governor if elected, also repeatedly maligned. Civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. attacking him in such intense terms that use that a user accused him of being a white supremacist. Get that commie bastard off the National Mall, Robinson wrote about the dedication of the memorial to King in Washington, D.C. by then President Barack Obama. I'm not in the KKK. They don't let blacks join. If I was in the KKK, I would have called him Martin Lucifer. Okay. In the pornographic forums, I will not say that last word. In the pornographic forums, Robinson revealed his unvarnished thoughts on issues such as race, gender, and abortion, which is probably the perfect place to reveal your unvarnished thoughts about issues uh, pertaining to race, gender, and abortion. Writing in a forum discussing black Republicans in October 2010, Robinson stated, unprovoked, I'm a black Nazi. That same month, Robinson wrote in another post that he supported the return of slavery. Slavery is not bad. Some people need uh, to be slaves. I wish they would bring it slavery back. I would certainly buy a few. March 2012. This is not only just any pornographic forum. This is 
uh, I believe, a black pornographic forum called Nude Africa. Mark Robinson, a black man, is writing in a black porn forum about, as a black man, wanting to own slaves. Just so you understand. This is like, bro, bro, people are saying in the chat, like, Uncle Ruckus, but like, no, dude, this is, this is yet another instance where, like, real life outflanks anything, like, anything that you consider unhinged to be written in, like, literature, okay? This is worse. This is literally worse than Uncle Ruckus. On March 2012, Robinson wrote that he preferred the former leader of Nazi Germany, Adolf Hitler, over the leadership in Washington during the administration of Barack Obama. I'd take Hitler over any of the shit that's going on in Washington right now, he wrote. Robinson's comment on nude Africa often frequently contained derogatory and racial slurs directed at black, Jewish, and Muslim people. In a series of seven posts in October 2011, Robinson disparaged Martin Luther King in such intense terms, calling him a commie bastard, worse than a maggot, a ho phony, and a huckster, that a user in the third accused him of being in the KKK. Robinson responded by directing a slur at King. We already read that part. On October 2010, Robinson used the anti-Semitic slur. What? Dude, I've been online for a very long time. I didn't even know that this was a slur. <laughs> what is it like shortened for Hebrew? Is that what it is? This dude is. Oh my God. He is like. He is, like, doing 4chan shit. Actually, I don't even think they know about this shit in 4chan. I would have thought he would have hit that, like, K-word. When discussing how he liked the show Good Times, developed by Norman Lear, saying the show itself was a bunch of written liberal bullshit. I guess that is the term he's saying. Like, like Jews wrote it. You're falling off? Yeah, I haven't. I've fallen off on my racism, Dar. Um... While discussing the Taliban, he referred to Muslims as little rag-headed bastards and said that if Muslims took over, liberals would be the first ones to be beheaded. Robinson also used homophobic slurs frequently, calling other users the F-slur. In a largely positive forum discussing... Uh, in a largely positive forum on Nude Africa discussion featuring a photo of two men kissing after one return from a military deployment, Robinson wrote the sole negative comment... That's some old sick ass F word bullshit he wrote. Yeah, bro. The ADL. It's such a unearthed. It's such a. It's such a weird thing to say that the ADL doesn't have it in his database, bro. Wow. My man was. You think he was inventing it or you think he went to like, like ancient Egypt? Like, you think he went to the tomes of racism, like, dusted off one of, like, the oldest books you could find to, like, find it? You know, he just, like, pushed aside, like, the, the cobwebs and shit and just unlocked it. The one true slur. Can we get a palate cleanser? No. Oh, here, this is the other, this is the other fun part. Despite what Mark Robinson's takes were on mlk here is how donald trump referred to him not once but twice as a matter and of fact he's been an unbelievable lieutenant governor mark robinson i heard him and by the way his wife is much much more lovely than he is i can tell you that and she's my friend Thank you, darling, for being here. But, you know, I heard him coming in on the plane. I was listening, and I said to the people on the plane, watch this. This is Martin Luther King on steroids, okay? Now, I told that, I told that, I told that to Mark. I said, I think you're better than Martin Luther King. I think you are Martin Luther King times two. And he looked at me. And I wasn't sure, was he angry because that's a terrible thing to say, or was he complimented? I have never figured it out, but I'm telling you, he's one of the... Right. Wait, what? Wait. Martin Luther King times two. And he looked at me, and I wasn't sure, was he angry because that's a terrible thing to say, or was he complimented? I 
Bro, that makes so much sense. Oh my God. Oh my God. Donald Trump was like, you're a black guy. Every black loves Martin Luther King. You're just like him, but better. And he was like, no, I hate him. Actually. I, I hate him. Why are you comparing me to that commie bastard? I have never figured it out, but I'm telling you, he's one of, right? When I said that to you, you looked like, I don't know if I like that comment. You should like it because you are outstanding. Trump is woke. Trump is woke. Trump is literally woke. He's like, you should like it, dumbass. Oh my God, he's woke. Oh my God. Oh my God, Trump is too woke for Mark Robinson. Oh my God. And you're going to be the next governor, so that's going to be very cool. Mark is still the favorite to win? <laughs> no. He was, he was never favored to win because a lot of this stuff, a lot of this new information that came out is basically like, um, basically old shit that we were kind of aware of, but never to this degree. Like this is just, uh, another confirmation, a big confirmation, bro. He very publicly posted about Adolf Hitler. He posted an Adolf Hitler quote. He posted an Adolf Hitler quote on his Facebook in 2014. And when people asked him about it, they're like, bro, you just quoted Adolf Hitler on your Facebook post. Like, what the f***? When they asked him about it in, like, 2021, he literally said, oh, whatever, dude. Like, history books also quote Adolf Hitler. Like, pff, he doubled down on it. Now, you know the fake news will go today, and they'll take that little statement that I make, that little cute statement, and they'll say, he said that this gentleman is better than Martin Luther King. This is a terrible thing. Is he a racist? A bop, a bop, a bop. It'll end up being, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Because the people, the people get it. Mark, the people get it. Thank you, Mark. And when you say, or sooner if possible. That's right. I just want to thank everybody. Whatever you can do to help Mark and Yolanda win this election. You know, he's got a tough opponent, not a good opponent, but a tough opponent, a political person. And uh, it's not going to be that easy. He's going to, he's a star, but a lot of times people say, well, this is going to be easy for him. And then they forget to vote. They don't go out to vote. You got to get out and vote, but you got to help him financially because you are all people that have a lot of money. I know uh, 20 of you and you're rich as hell. So I it's in this list of anti-Semitic slurs. Gorillion. Wait, what the f People might say that six Gorillion Jews were killed to mock victims. Oh no, I didn't even realize that I was doing anti-Semitism. Uh, this is a slang abbreviation for the word Hebrew. Sometimes use an anti-Semitic slur to refer to Jewish people. You say Gorillion all the time? Yeah. <laughs> Not about the Holocaust, though. <laughs> I say it about dollars. Like in terms of, I'll be like, he made a gorillion dollars. I didn't realize it was utilized for Holocaust denial. The slang abbreviation for the word Hebrew sometimes uses an anti Semitic slur to refer to Jewish people. This has since been reclaimed by some Jewish people as a form of pride and empowerment, such as the Jewish website and magazine entitled, I won't say the word, Anti Semite of the Week again, shaking my head. He had an account on One Sixth Warriors, which is an action figure community. Oh my God. A very happy birthday goes out to the following warriors. Mini soldier right there. Oh God. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't want to scroll down and see some. Oh wait, there's just sending babe photos. God, the internet was so weird. Like it's one birthday babe short. Happy birthday, guys. I'll toss in an extra four for you so you have more choices. I'm warning you, though. Some of these fit the term for female dog quite well. <laughs> My mother will not allow me to say the term bitch. <laughs> Here, go ahead. Goon to this. <laughs> Methinks you will goon to this quite well. There are... God, forums are so awesome. Where are your birthdays today? Is there no one or did Hall drop the ball? They're discussing whether 
they're discussing whether like the moderator dropped the ball on people's birthdays. <laughs> Forums are so dumb, dude. That's how you know it was him. Only people around back then still leave reviews and comments like it's their job. Oh my God, you're right. Oh my God, you're right. You, I often wonder who the fuck is like the type of person that's like leaving real Amazon reviews. And it's definitely like old posters. Like old forum posters who are just like reliving that glory. Anything you were going to do at quadruple it, it doesn't mean it. Woo! It's just, you know. But Let's go. Somebody that we have to be very, very careful. We have to cherish. We have to cherish Mark. He's a star. You have to cherish yes. him. Amen. It's like a fine wine because that's what you have. You have a fine wine. He's an outstanding person. I've gotten to know him so well and fairly quickly. Tuesday or so <laughs> yeah, no, he, he definitely was a... He definitely had model train videos and shit. Wait, what? Mini soldier at mini soldier. I am the majority USA. He changed it. Yeah. YouTube.com slash mini soldier. He changed his username. What is this playlist? 70s stuff. Fat Albert opening credits and theme song. Oh, he's in it. I'm the majority. That you're going to take guns away from law abiding citizens and that criminals will not happen. This is an absolutely foolish notion. If we're going to combat crime, we need to combat crime. We don't need to combat law-abiding citizens. You have the entity that we're supposed to be protecting ourselves from deciding who can have a weapon. We don't want the government... You know he's wearing that titty shirt. You know his ass is wearing that titty... Ah, this is six years ago. His review is recent, so maybe not. This is before he found the titty shirt. You have the right to tell us who can and can't have a weapon. That's not what the Second Amendment says. It says, shall not be infringed. This is absolutely his account. Oh my God. Travel tips. Hey there, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. This is just a very quick little video on how to fold a t-shirt. This is something I learned quite recently and I think it's a genius idea and I wanted to share it with you guys. Basically, these are uh, t-shirts folded up and the beauty of this is when you're going away on holiday and uh, you need that valuable luggage space, uh, this will solve some of your issues. He needed to know. Six amazingly compact ways to fold clothes for packing. Wow, this man really loved packing. Oh, because he's a big boy. Oh my God, you guys don't understand. This is like legitimately a problem. Dog, when you're a big boy, your clothes are really big. So if you have a, a you know, tiny amount of luggage space, you need to be able to put that, you need to be able to compact that shit. Oh my God. And you probably need more shirts because you're sweating through them. His second YouTube. Oh, he is such a poster, dude. Look at him. He posts so much. The video that started it all. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Okay. Uh, I didn't have time to uh, You prepare. have to give us your name. This is what went viral originally. Bro, this is all it takes for the Republicans to be like, oh, this is a perfect guy. We should make this guy run for office. I captured his YouTube before the swap. Oh, his subscriptions were public. Gravity transformation, fat loss, lossless, how to smart, the Wright brothers, rail fanning with Lane. What? He took this down for some reason. Black marble end titles. Gravity transformation, fat loss was what he was subscribed with. The Wright Brothers, Rail Fanning with Lane, Scarface 115, Ken D. Barry, MD, Fit Father Project. Aw, he was trying to lose weight. He loved his little models, and he was trying to lose weight. And also, you know, admire the, the glorious Adolf Hitler, apparently. <laughs> it's so funny that he's trying to claim it's AI, dude. Holy shit. Just a man with a piss kink. Really interesting state in there, North Carolina, which is a big target for the Democrats. And we just found out an hour ago that the lieutenant governor there, Mark Robinson, Ooh. who's running for governor, never heard of him. who Donald Trump never heard of him. He's running for governor in North Carolina and he's losing. That's so funny, dude. Never heard of him, dude. Yeah, just like I never heard of the top of the hour ad break. Never heard of it, dude. 
which sometimes comes 14 minutes into the top of the hour. Also, I got to give props to this chatter, okay? This was actually a very well thought out, very well thought out top of the hour ad break debate. But I was going to, I, <laughs> I saw it and I didn't want to be indecent, okay? I'm giving, I'm, I'm giving the flowers. This person put top of the hour ad break in his subscriptions over here on Discord probably and then pumped it. Anyway, here's the three minute ad break now. Good work. I worked in Demopo and the amount of people who let their posting username bleed into their overall identity, IRL identity is crazy. Jesse Waters has never heard of Mark Robinson. This person blocked me. <laughs> never heard of him. Oops. By the way, this is also a funny moment, but Having the 2024 election may be decided by a scandal about a post a governor made on a site that looks like this. Turn up your win amp. This is the millennials election, baby. Yeah. Win amp. It really whips the llama's ass. That just unlocks something in my mind, dude. Holy shit. Trump called Martin Luther King on steroids. Posted on a porn forum called Nude Africa that he's a black Nazi expressed support for reinstating slavery, and detailed his sexual arousal from memories of peeping on women in public gyms, and he still fantasizes about it. He also has an Ashley Madison account. How dare you kink shame? <laughs> sure. That's a great reaction. So Josh Stein was likely to win that race anyway. If they get Mark Rob Robinson to drop out, his name is still on the ballot, but this makes North Carolina even more in play for Democrats. And this, again, is evidence of the type of candidates that Donald Trump thinks are good for the country. Martin Luther King on steroids, someone who says he's a black Nazi. But he would obviously. But what? Let, let's, you state the, no, let's state the obvious here. Yeah. Do you think Trump actually knew this no. guy was on porn you, sites? My point is that Donald Trump likes anyone who likes him, and he doesn't bother to That's do the work. That's called being human. No, no, no it's not. I, a lot of people like me who I don't like in return. Like who? Like, I don't tell us now. I don't want to like name me, she's talking about me. Go ahead. Let's start with Fox and Friends. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Kale All right, Jessica. Yeah. All right, Jessica. I didn't interrupt. I just want to let because that be known. I, Greg so interrupted on my behalf. The king shaming was okay, kind of well, funny. I, I will be going to New <laughs> Africa in the break to see if that's true. <laughs> Why is Buttfell's biggest hang up the fact that he was on porn sites and not the fact that he actually called himself a black Nazi? Because he likes that. Next question. What a beautiful story, man. What a beautiful, wonderful story. It's just one of the ways the CNN author connected him was the bizarre redneck phrase used by both accounts. Uncommon phrases used by Mini Soldier and Robinson. Here are several examples of unique phases, uh, phrases used by both Mini Soldier on Nude Africa and by North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. I don't give a frog's fat ass where that vid came from. No to the news media. I don't give a frog's fat ass about Bill Cosby, Mike Brown, Mike Brown's mama, baby, daddy, Ray Rice, or that heifer who talks smack about Obama's kids. I really don't give a frog's fat behind who Serena Williams married. This is going to ruin him. He's going to have to go back to Greensboro, and when he does, he won't even be able to goon because he owes the local shop debt. I think by this point, he's probably moved beyond... Uh, the need to goon at the porn store. He might just crank one off for the good times, you know, for all the good times he had with Lewis Money, who apparently claimed that Mark Robinson would go into the store with an entire box of pizza and just eat the entire box while gooning. Okay. Oh, here's another thing that Donald Trump said about him. Thanks as well to... I think one of the hottest politicians in the United States of America, and has become a friend of mine, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Great. You're incredible. I can't believe that one day I tune in late, you're talking about my state, big dog. <laughs> I don't know if you want me talking about your state like this. Incredible. Incredible wife. Thank you very much. Thanks as well to, I think, one of the hottest politicians. When, when the day comes 
and I'm talking about your state on the Hasanabi broadcast, understand that something horrible has probably taken place in your state. Okay? This stream is honestly toxic. That's crazy that you're saying that. It kills me when he starts bragging about her huge clit like it's the perfect inverse of a dick. Oh, you couldn't handle my sister-in-law's gigantic clit. It's way too much for a pussy like you. Great day to be an EU lurker. Can he still drop out of the race? Um, He could, but will he? That's the real question. And it seems he will not be. Hey guys, Lieutenant Governor Robinson and uh, your Republican nominee for governor as well, of course. Well guys, the news media is at it again. My opponent is at it again. Uh, you all have seen the half-truths and outright lies of Josh Stein on these ads over and over again. And uh, now a story, a story leaked by him to CNN is appearing now. Let me reassure you, the things that you will see in that story those are not the words of Mark Robinson. You know my words. You know my character. And you Those are the words of Mini Soldier, who also happens to be Mark Robinson, 100%. You know that I have been completely transparent in this race. I love that he just even gave in and said half-truths because it's like, I mean, dude, even half of that shit is still ass. You know what I mean? Like, you should have just not even said half-truths. You know what I mean? and before uh, folks this race right now our opponents are desperate to sit, shift the focus here from the substantive issues and focus on what you are concerned with to salacious trap tabloid trash we cannot allow that to happen and folks i do want to take a moment and recognize that as much as we are making fun of this big boy he has demonstrated incredible restraint after all, he is obviously a massive anti-Semite and he's running against a Jewish dude. And he has not once, as far as we know, on camera, <laughs> said some anti-Semitic shit about his opponent. So that requires a tremendous amount of restraint from a man who very, very simply put, has none of it, okay? He does not have... A single, like a, like a single fraction of restraint when it comes to gooning, it seems. Because not many have gone into porn debt, okay? This is a man who has openly quoted Hitler. And yet he, yet he hasn't said something openly anti-Semitic thus far, which is shocking. Do you think the Jews Trump is talking to today will ask him about this? No. That'd be pretty funny. Oh my God, please. Oh my God. Wait, when was that supposed to happen? Was that supposed to happen at three? Did we miss that? Because I really wanted to see. I really wanted to see what kind of incredible stuff. Oh, he's live right now. 